I'm glad you are here to learn how Siemens Healthineers is adopting SnapLogic platform to achieve citizen integration at scale. So let me get started. So if you don't know about Siemens Healthineers, who we are, we are a MedTech company and we are market leaders in majority of the businesses. And just to give you a perspective, 70% or more critical clinical decisions are impacted by our products, uh, what we have in the fields. Yeah. So with that, we need also a super robust, resilient, and innovative platforms and infrastructure in the organization. And this is where SnapLogic comes into play. So I'm part of the central IT function who is basically providing services to internal Siemens Health in Earth organization. Yeah, we are the organization of roughly 70,000 employees globally, uh, presence in 70 plus countries, and we are serving all businesses, functions, and regions uh, internally in Siemens Aldiniers. And five years ago, we thought about how to digitalize our core. Yeah? Uh, what can we do to set ourselves up for success for future? And this is where we came up with four different areas. One is innovation for users. Innovation for users is all about building user-centric workflows, building modern workplace, building digital workplace for user in the future. And this is where SnapLogic comes in play, where SnapLogic helps us connect different data sources so that we have the opportunity to build user-centric workflows. Other uh, breakthrough what we have is around the digital IT transformation, yeah? And this is all about uh, improving our skill set, yeah? uh, setting our organization up for the future for skills like generative AI, generative integration, cybersecurity, of course, the previous session talked about this, right? So it, it is very important uh, to protect from the threats of tomorrow. And where citizen integration plays a key role for us is in digitalizing business processes and application. And this is something what SnapLogic really helps to accelerate to connect different data uh, sources, yeah? different backends, uh, different SaaS applications that we have, different on-prem applications that we have, and help lines of business to build pipelines, build integrations, what they see fit for their business processes at the end of the day. And for that, what we have done is to be able to achieve this vision of 2025, we have set a very strong platform strategy platform strategy that helps us from the foundation to be flexible, to be resilient, to be stable. And at the core of this, you will see in the, uh, at the bottom in the cross-sectional platforms, we have chosen SnapLogic as our strategic platform for doing integration at Siemens Aldiniers. And what does that mean? Yeah, so if you look at our business processes and applications, yeah, we started SnapLogic journey a while ago. And right now, we are touching each and every business process with SnapLogic, more or less. Yeah? Uh, starting from the finance, which I will a little bit jump into on how we are building treasury for future yeah? with, uh, uh, with help of SnapLogic. Or uh, when it comes to customer service, how SnapLogic is supporting our journey over there. But it's not limited only to finance and customer service. We have a bunch of uh, use cases that we are running with SnapLogic, whether it is in PLMS CM area, whether it is in CRM area, uh, it, in IT area. So th this is really a growing integration journey for us uh, across the enterprise. And then if you uh, look at now two concrete use cases, just to touch upon the citizen integration aspect. Yeah. So first one I would like to talk about is in the finance area of that treasury management system. Siemens Healthineers had their IPO few years ago, and with that, we had to build our own treasury function in the organization, uh, separate from Siemens AG. And this is where the architecture, what you see here, is quite complex. I mean, this is a real simplistic view of what we have from different country systems to regional systems to different ERP systems or finance systems in the organization. And SnapLogic is in the middle of this, connecting all these different enterprise systems for us and helping build the strong financial backbone for us. Yeah? 
and uh, just to set perspective through this we are running all more or less the financial risk management yeah for foreign currencies or for vendor payments or for employee payrolls yeah this is all where this treasury management system comes in so you can imagine for a company of 70000 employees yeah and with a elaborate partner landscape if something fails yeah or something is even delayed uh, then it has a significant financial risk uh, and liability to the organization so this this is where snap logic is at the heart of it uh, providing us the right robust platform when it comes to the treasury management system for us the other use case i want to touch upon is in the customer service side so just imagine uh, in the hospital uh, you have somebody who is about to go into a critical surgery yeah and uh, let's say the interventional radiology machine or the mri machine or whatever it breaks down and the hospital needs to make a quick call to siemens health engineers for getting a fix for it or calling a service engineer on site to fix it this is where our customer services team comes in yeah we have more than 7400 service engineers 1200 regional support engineers who are serving or who are servicing our installed base that we have globally and this is where the 24/7 availability fulfilling also the country regulations in the customer service comes into play yeah and uh, overall to serve these 120000 customers worldwide we have started the journey also to transform our customer service processes yeah so earlier we had lot of fragmented systems what you see on the left different systems connecting point to point uh, with rudimentary uh, interfaces lot of in house built lot of custom interfaces but as we embarked on the journey to transform to what we call always on and always in touch with our customers yeah more digital customer journeys over there this is where snap logic again helps us to build the workflows around the customer service processes in the organization you have different uh, we have different systems over there like genesis service now spryker and all of this with service now as a backbone what we call sense is being connected then through snap logic uh, for empowering our customer services journey over there so th these are two examples that i just wanted to share around critical business processes where we are partnering with snap logic yeah to help us and of course for such critical business processes yeah you need also critical infrastructure and this is where the cloud platform like amazon web services come into play yeah? and that provides us the resilient innovative and effective infrastructure that we need for snap logic infrastructure in house and to connect it with the snap logic uh, pass or SaaS layer that we have in the cloud with Snap Logic. <laughs> Just a little bit talking about the citizen integration journey and how long it has taken us to reach where we are right now. So we started in 2018, 2019. Uh, this is where we evaluated Snap Logic as an integration platform. We did an incubation. We piloted some use cases and we started building a central environment in europe for our global organization then in 2020 is when we onboarded actually the first citizen integrations on uh, citizen integrators on the platform yeah uh, and we also expanded into amazon us region so currently we are running two different environments connected together one is in amazon uh, us and one is in amazon europe and this is serving our global organization uh, from integration perspective and then in the last years we have expanded what i showed you around all the business processes or most of the business processes in the organization leveraging on snap, snap logic and one of the recent topic that we have now started is uh, launching a api management yeah and this is something what is next for us also talk talking about future what is 24 25 looks like for us yeah and where we are now going with snap logic we want to really build composable architecture in the organization to be faster in this whole digitalization journey or to also adopt technologies like generative ai in the organization yeah 
we want to really drive this API first culture, yeah? And this is where we are looking forward also for SnapLogic to provide us this API management layer yeah, that we can use and expose reusable APIs, a standard API architecture into the organization uh, that our lines of businesses or different functions and regions can use globally. So this is uh, what we are doing at Siemens Health in Years, leveraging on SnapLogic platform. Again, glad to be here. And uh, with that, I am open for questions. Thank Round you. of applause. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Rohit.